Now, I'm not particularly musical. I've done piano lessons in the past, but one of the things that I do use to cheat is Melodyne in Studio One. This is Studio One 3.5 uh, Pro. And I just wanted to sort of illustrate some of the little tricks that you can do and employ if you are struggling. Now, you notice I use Cubase, Ableton, and Studio One. Did use Pro Tools, uh, moved on from Pro Tools because I objected to the subscription. Uh, and I was just playing in Studio One early, and I thought I'd do a video just to illustrate how I can cheat, uh, particularly with the mel melodic parts. Uh, because Studio One makes it so easy. So here we go. So uh, let me look for some files. Okay. Studio One is very drag and drop. a bit bigger so we can see what we're doing on screen there we go uh, it's not a particularly good file because it's not tight so there you go instant tight turn on the metronome let's have a listen so that's okay so this is where I cheat that would be difficult for me to play, particularly on a keyboard, let alone a push if I was using Ableton. So right click, edit with metal Melodyne, I should say. A um, couple of little tweaks that I have to always do in Melodyne. It's on uh, detecting its own automatic sort of algorithm so I'm going to change that to mel melodic tell it to redetect it okay okay there we go so if we can make it bigger I also uh, change the time grid to sixteenths if I want to edit my own grid. Sorry, edit the notes on my own grid. So Melodyne is pretty good. You can select, Control, C, copy, and I can, oops, paste that in wherever I see fit. if I want to. So I've copied a note and added it. The notes themselves I can drag up and down. Don't like the sound of that. But the beauty is Studio One, if you look up here, now it's analysed it in Melodyne, you can see the MIDI notes. And what I move or do here is represented in MIDI notes in the actual audio WAV file in Studio One. So if I move that up, you can see it moving up actually in the WAV file above. Let me pull that to its original place. Okay, so that's that, that's Melodyne. And there's loads of creative things that you can do in Melodyne, which is more for another video, but uh, using these things down at the bottom, you can change the pitch and sound and whatnot, or brilliant in this case, listen.
so they can be useful when you're particularly playing with an audio file. I'm not interested in using it for that. I want to use it to copy this MIDI to a new instrument track. Watch this. So it's lifted the MIDI from that audio file from the Melodyne uh, analysis and I've created a new instrument track so I can then go and add an instrument um, let's have a look and we'll do something with Dark Planet so let's look for a, a pad there we go some pad Sounds sort of ethereal. Okay, select all. Let's transpose it up a little bit. Add an octave. Now there's no way I could have played that. So I'll just add stylus to add a beat. Loops, young men full drum loops. Okay, let's change the timing on that, make it a bit more skippy. There we go, full on swing. Okay, so I just added some swing and simplified the beat. Stylus, excellent drum machine. Can't wait till Spectrosonics update it. This is quite old now, but what you can do with this, you can take a drum loop, for instance, and simplify it. You can change it. Loads of effects. Like I say, one for another day. So I'm just going to drop this drum loop over here. Duplicate, press D on the keyboard. Turn the mix down a little bit because it's going to be popping. Let's just turn this uh, console mix effects console shaper in. So, now I couldn't have played that very easily, certainly not as speedily as I've done it just there. Um, let's swap out Dark Planet and add uh, another instrument, for instance. Um, let's have a look at Transfuser. This is a great VST. Okay, this is a preset, uh, should be bassy. There's a few things going on here. The console shaper is leaking sound. And this is still low. So I'm just going to close this one second and transpose it up one more. Quantum 
quantize to it because that one swung to about 59% I think so it's, we'll do that one to 60 that's near enough there we go now of course I can still edit this so I'll get my pen and add some doubles so quite easy and something worth considering Melodyne Studio One the easy integration you can do it in other doors but this is totally built in and with all this dragging from the audio file into another lane to create an instrument track absolutely fantastic stuff